The absolute quality and absolute price product philosophy that Atomy has practiced since its inception is included in all of its products, such as health functional foods, beauty, living, food, fashion, home appliances, and more. Hemohim, which has been the top seller in its industry for seven consecutive years, has passed 1.7 trillion Korean won in cumulative sales. It has gotten international patents in 21 countries and is forging a unique new path for health functional food products. Absolute Skin Care, which has become one of the best selling cosmetics in the industry with sales of 100 billion Korean won every year since its launch, was recognized for its advanced technology with King Sejong Award from the Korean Intellectual Property Office in 2021, for the first time in the cosmetics industry. The Fame, another luxury cosmetic product reborn with upgraded ingredients and technology, is also loved by consumers as it reflects Atomy's product philosophy. Atomy is practicing customer-centered management in all of its corporate activities, and this was recognized by becoming the industry's first to acquire customer-centered management certification for two consecutive years. Starting with the U.S. branch in 2010, Atomy is a global company which opened 22 branches in Asia, South America, Oceania, and Europe, with 16 million members worldwide. Atomy opened branches in New Zealand, Turkey, the United Kingdom, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan and is planning to open 20 more branches within the next five years. Atomy's GSGS strategy, which stands for Global Sourcing Global Sales, allows the supply of products that align with the absolute quality and absolute price philosophy through Atomy's global sales network. Atomy's success system, in which the company runs all seminars, allows any member to succeed regardless of individual ability. This is the driving force behind Atomy's distinctive growth. The next generation of online and offline distribution broadcasters, which presents Atomy's vision to members around the world regardless of time and space. Entertainment and media, which converges business and culture. Atomy provides the vision of a global success system, which transcends time and space by providing a variety of services. Atomy provides various support measures for partnering companies, such as cash payment within one week from delivery, interest-free operating fund loans, and joint quality management systems, among others. These create a culture of accompanied growth. Sharing is a mission that all companies must fulfill. Atomy's executives, employees, partnering companies, and members all practice sharing together to improve the lives of all members of society. Whenever sharing is needed around the world, global branches will be united to support happiness for all. The company that holds true to its principles while creating a new distribution culture the company expanding globally with the trust of people around the world. The company that dreams of customer success while moving beyond customer satisfaction. The company that cherishes the spirit. We are Proud Atomy.
All right, we are proud out of me. I hope we, uh, we had a share of the company profile. And now I would like to, before I introduce to you our speaker, I would like to welcome all our attendees here. Uh, we have Sir Mario Orbigoso from Samwanga. And we have Agent Engineer Dennis from Taguig or Lukban, uh, Quezon. And we have Sir Roger from Biko. We have uh, uh, DM Sergeant Sunny Fincher from Athens, Georgia. That's my better half. We have Brother Oji from Davao. And we have Dr. Regina Limson from Tor Toronto, Canada. And we have Miss uh, Wonder Woman Shirley Villavicencio from Singapore. And we also have uh, Sir Frederick Abundo. She, he is our guest for tonight. He is from Imus Cavite. And of course, our DM Amazing Grace from Baltimore, Maryland. And our uh, agent, Rochelle Limson from Malaysia. And now I would like to introduce to you our speaker for today, tonight in, in the Philippines. He is a registered nurse, a doctor of education, an associate professor of nursing, a research consultant, a trainer. But tonight she will be our sales master, Dr. Apple Sacking, who will be presenting to us the show the plan. Let uh, help me welcome our speaker, Dr. Apple Sacking. Thank you very much, DM Doc says. Thank you everyone for that very warm welcome. So let us do this again. So we just did our company motto. We did this before two weeks ago. And when we say cherish, what do we cherish once again? The spirit. Yeah, and that's right. How about when we say create? The vision. Create the vision. The vision. Okay, I hope Sir Fred is following. When we say follow, what do we follow? Our faith. And finally, faith. we serve in, in humility. humility. Very good. All right. So this has been an interactive introduction. Thank you very much for your participation. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our company motto. So we cherish the spirit, we create the vision, we follow the faith, and we serve in humility. So last time we talked about faith, and this time I would like to talk about something um, that is part of the company motto. And when we see this picture, which of them comes in your mind? Is it cherishing the spirit? Is it, is it um, following the faith? Is it creating the vision? Or is it serving in humility? Anyone? can unmute themselves. Last night. Sorry, I mean, that's the last question. It looks like serving in humility, um, being so humble because his head or her head uh, bowing down and kneeling. So I don't know if I am right, but that's how I look at the picture. I wish I had prizes to give out, but <laughs> I, I, think, I, I, I think, yes, I, Sir Mario. I, Yes, uh, I, uh, the picture could be expressed in all the four. Cherish the spirit, he, he's praying, uh, follow the faith, yes, creating a vision also, and uh, serving in humility. Uh, that's also correct, Sir Mario. Thank you very much. And also, Ma'am Richelle uh, agrees with Sir Mario. I can see her nodding, okay? But thank you. I, can, I just cannot discuss the whole company motto in one session. <laughs> but you are right, Sir Mario. But really, um, what we would like to talk about today, Dr. Says is correct. Um, and of course, Sir Mario and Ma'am Richelle too. We're, we're going to talk a bit about humility. Okay, This is one of my favorite parts of the company motto, serving in humility. Because we have to understand that Humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's not really like that. You don't, you don't neglect yourself when you're being humble. It's thinking of yourself less. Okay? So humility is not thinking less of yourself, right? It is thinking of yourself 
less. There is a difference. And that those are not my words. Those are C.S. Lewis's words. Now, humble leadership, it says here, is the power of relationships, openness, and trust. Okay, so we're saying that we have to serve in humility. That means we have to become servant leaders. Okay, and being servant leaders, those are big words, you know, but really one of the steps to become servant leaders is to become a humble leader. So with humble leadership, it is important to nurture relationships, openness, and trust among one another. Okay, so we know that our company, our business is a relational company, right? It's important for us to be open, especially when we are going towards one goal. And trust is very important for us to keep among ourselves. So humble leadership, okay? Now, there are three things that I would like to include in this, um, in this presentation that are connected with the with the uh, with with humility, right? And first is arrogance. Okay, so if you look at the picture, you can see that the the arrows point to different directions. Okay, to opposite directions. So humility is going this way, and arrogance is going that way. Okay, that's because you cannot be humble and arrogant at the same time. Okay, why? Because the opposite of humility is arrogance, right? The opposite of humility is arrogance. The belief that we are wiser or better than others, that's arrogance. It promotes separation rather than community. It looms like a brick wall between us and those from whom we could learn. So remember, we always say we need to become humble in order for us to learn in order for us to be mentored, right? And arrogance separates us from that. Arrogance is something that separates us rather than build a community, right? So remember, in our business, we are a community, right? We deal with one another, but arrogance promotes separation instead of community, okay? So you cannot be humble and arrogant at the same time, okay? Just... Um, a bit of um, a bit of information about arrogance. Second is pride. If you look at this picture, you can see the letter I is biggest among the different letters, and it's saying, "Hey, look at me! Look at me! I, pride. It's all about me." Okay, so you cannot be prideful or proud while being humble, because it is also sort of an opposite of humility. St. Augustine said that it was pride that changed angels into devils. If you remember the story, I don't mean to preach here, but he said that it was pride that changed angels into devils, but it is humility that makes men angels. Right? So that's another thing, pride. And the last thing I would like to share is this. Look at this man. He has this placard saying, I'm humble. I am so humble that you have to recognize me to be a person of humility. I am humble. Okay. What is this showing? When we are very proud that we are humble, that's called false humility. Okay. So false humility is the pride of not being proud. I have this pride that I am not proud. I am humble. That's false humility. Real humility is without the consciousness that pride exists. So a person who is humble knows no pride. Okay? So false humility is when you tell people, that, look at me, I am humble. Look at what I'm doing. This is humility. I am serving in humility. Okay, let's be very careful because there is a thin line between being humble and exemplifying false humility. I mean, the intention could be there, but let us be careful. We are not perfect. Sometimes we have this, but it is the pride of being humble. It is the pride of not being proud. 
that's false humility. So these are three things that I would like to share to you that are related with humility. But here, I told you we are not perfect beings, okay? We are people. And even the Bible says that we have to clothe ourselves with humility, okay? That goes with compassion, kindness, gentleness, and patience, okay? So it says clothe yourselves with humility. Why? Because we are human beings, and it is not really natural for us to become humble. So it takes deliberate action in order for us to become humble. We have to take that clo cloak of humility and clothe ourselves with it. It has to be an action that we decide. It has to be something that we deliberately do. It doesn't come naturally. Okay? So it says clothe yourselves with humility. Why is humility important? Because we are trying to serve friends, right? And you know, the most humble type of service that I have seen so far, again, I don't mean to preach here, but that's when Jesus washed the feet of other people. Can you see the, the dirt in those feet? Back then, they didn't wear socks, you know? They didn't wear the shoes that we have now. They wore sandals or probably what we call now flip-flops or probably they were just, you know, on their feet. And Jesus decided to wash their feet. That's an exemplification of true humility. Why? Because we know who he is. Okay, let's just call him a leader. Okay. Yet he decided to wash the feet of common people. And that should show us how we should be working together in this team. Even if we're a leader, we should be able to decide, at least to will, to serve others. So serve others in humility. Remember that our goal is a balanced life. And what is a balanced life? We live well, we love, we learn, and do not forget we include contribution. So part of achieving a balanced life is to be able to contribute. And by serving in humility, we contribute to community. So yes, our goal is to be able to help others. Part of our goal is to be able to help others in order for us to be able to contrib contribute to community. And of course, to influence others, to also serve in humility. And the good thing is that we can do this in our business. We can be humble. We can learn to humble ourselves and we can influence others to serve in humility just as we try to. Again, we are not perfect. We are not perfect, but we try to be. We decide to wear the cloak of humility and we try to serve others in humility. And that is part of our very beautiful company motto. And that is what our leaders want us to become, humble servants, humble leaders. And that is something that our company wants us to have. And this company is a very righteous one. Just coming from that motto, you can see how righteous this company is. But there are a lot of things other things that I would like to share with you about our company. There are a lot of other things that I would like to share to you about our business. Okay, so I hope you're ready. I would like to introduce Adomi as an online distribution hub. Okay, we, we distribute products online. We order just like what we do using our cell phones, our gadgets, our laptops. We order online and we can have these products distributed or delivered to our doorsteps, or we can also pick them up in centers if we wish. So just a bit of a background of how our company came about. Okay, our company started at the Korean Atomi Atomic um, Energy Research Institute, where there were scientists who got sick because they were exposed to radiation. Okay, so in Korea, scientists, the scientists in the KRI, or Korean Atomic Energy Research Institute, got exposed to radiation and they got sick of cancer. And the government got concerned about this and decided to commission 
a group of researchers to come up with a study that would help the health of these scientists. So for eight long years, they were given 10 years, but they were able to finish the research in eight years. And they came up with a functional biodefense food called Hemohim. So this Hemohim, this Hemohim significantly helped the health of these scientists. And seeing such significance, the government decided to make it open. The accessibility of this product was made open to the masses. So they, they wanted to produce more Hemohim. But since the Kerry is not a manufacturing company, it's a government agency, they partnered with Colmar. So Colmar BNH was founded to produce goods that the Kerry researched and developed. So Kerry is the research and development company. Colmar is the manufacturing company. But then again, Colmar is a manufacturing company. It's not a distributing company. So they also partnered with Atomy, which was founded to distribute products that are produced by Colmar BNH. So now Atomy is our distributor, our broadcasting station, and our online shopping mall. So that's a bit of a background. Remember Himohim, that's our flagship product. It's a functional biodefense food that boosts the immune system of a person that helps um, that helps uh, patients, especially cancer patients. So that only that does not only serve the cancer patients, but everyone who needs a boost in their immune system. So that's our flagship product, Hemohim. So Atomy is Global One Marketing. Okay. So we exist in more countries than you see in front of you right now because we are growing. And we, we intend to grow and grow until we cover the rest of the globe. Okay, so Atomy is a company that distributes daily necessities through the system of network marketing and multi-level marketing. So I'm sure it was introduced to you that Atomy is indeed a network marketing company. I know that there are people who have bad, in, uh, bad experiences with network marketing. But we always say this when we do presentations. We, our company, our leaders, try to rewrite the history of network marketing through a righteous marketing plan that we have in Atomy. Okay? So when I say righteous marketing plan, okay, think of the things that made you feel sad um when you try to be part of or when people try to make you part of network marketing companies there was membership fee a chunk of money had to be invested right there are possibly monthly fees probably annual fees there are website usage fees for those who have websites some of them have automatic monthly purchases they call it auto shipping and of course, a, a large amount of money is required as capital. In our righteous marketing plan in Atomy, we don't have any of those. We have free membership. We have no monthly or annual fee. We have no website usage fee, no automatic monthly purchases, and no capital required. So whenever I am asked, why do I have to join that company? My answer would be, why not? Why not? It's free. It's for free. You just have an access to an online shopping mall that you can access through your own website without having to shell out monthly or annual fee, without having the, the scare of having monthly purchases which are automatic. So what are you afraid of? There's nothing to lose. In fact, there's much to gain. Okay, so we have a righteous marketing plan. We offer daily necessities. Our company offers daily necessities, and these include healthcare products, beauty products, personal care products, living products, and food products. So we say daily necessities because if you think about it, who among us do not take care of ourselves every day? Well, that's the summary of everything. We take care of ourselves on a daily basis. Right? So we wash our faces, we brush our teeth, we take a bath, we try to beautify ourselves or at least maintain a personal hygiene. We eat, 
We try to wash our dishes and so forth and so on. So we offer daily necessities. So things that we use every day, things that we buy anyway. So what our company is trying to say is we just have to buy these things from our own website, from our own shopping mall because we buy them anyway. So we just have to switch brands and know that the brand that we carry is indeed one that has absolute quality. Okay, so our company's goal is consumer success. This was mentioned in our profile video a while back. And this consumer success is moving, not away, moving beyond consumer satisfaction. Okay, so what is consumer satisfaction? We are satisfied with our purchase, but with consumer success, it goes beyond that, right? So when we say consumer success, we now touch on the product philosophy of Atomy. The product philosophy of Atomy is offering these daily necessities of absolute quality at an absolute price. Okay, so when we buy products, we want absolute quality. We want um, excellent quality. But sometimes we do not want to pay for the, the price of excellence, right? So we settle with those that we would like to say we can afford or that which are, well, for the lack of a better term, cheaper. But here in Atomy, we offer products that are of absolute price. That means, some, that means something that we can afford. But then the quality is of excellence. So absolute quality at an absolute price. Look at the arrowheads. Absolute quality is going up. Absolute price is going down. So we can afford these products that are of absolute quality. And that is the product philosophy of Atomy that will lead, lead you to consumer success. Then we, we operate in a binary marketing system, okay? So when we have this person here, um, this person right here is you, and on your left would be probably a family member, on your right would probably be a friend, right? And when we keep on inviting people, we can go unlimited. That is one of the good things about our company. We can go unlimited when we invite people. And this is one difference that we can also observe between our company and the company, the, the, the other companies out there. Okay. Then we are Global One Marketing. What does that mean? Global One Marketing means that we can um, operate and deal, transact, um, invite other people who are from different parts of the world. So for example, in my case, my aunt is based here in Athens, Georgia. I am based in the Philippines. I am just visiting now. And she was able to bring me to the business under her. So I, if I had the Philipp Philippine flag right there, I can also invite people from the United States, you know, from Korea, from from New Zealand, from Singapore, from Malaysia, and so forth and so on. So we are Global One Marketing. And we have what we call Atomy Products Point Value. Okay? So how do I explain this? When I say, when I say point value, I'd like you to be able to relate this with when you go grocery shopping probably. Um, in the Philippines, for example, um, when you go grocery shopping, someone would ask you if you already have rewards cards. Or someone would ask you, do you already have an advantage card? Right? So there are different types of cards that would accumulate your points and reward you because of the points that you were able to accumulate. So it's similar in Atomy, but there's also a very big difference. So here, when you purchase, for example, our flagship product, which is Himohim, that's 4,300 pesos in the Philippines, that's 60 sachets that lasts you for a month or two, right? Whenever you purchase that, you get to produce 46,000 
point values. So what is the big difference? It's really big. The point value is very big, right? In our company, the company is very generous in giving out point values. The same goes with absolute uh, skincare. So um, when you purchase it at 11,100, you get to produce a total of 130,000 point values. That's a lot. Okay, so with Hong Sandan, 4,250 pesos, that's 52,000 PVs. Okay, so point values. Why, why do we have to talk about this? Because it, it plays a big role in our business. Okay, there are two types of point value. We have personal point value and we have group point value. And our group point value can be um, divided into two. We have left group point value and right group point value. Okay, so our personal value is for qualification. Right? So there are qualifications, there are certain levels that we reach when we produce certain personal point values. Okay, now our group point values are actually personal point values of the different persons who are under us. So we established two consumer groups right here, one on the left and one on the right. So your consumer group here, when you accumulate the personal value of each person, that becomes your left group point value. And when you accumulate the, the different personal point values of the persons on your right, that becomes your right group point value. And your group point value determines your income. Okay? So I will be able to explain further in the succeeding slides. So let me show you how personal point value makes you qualified for certain things. So for example, unlimited group PV accumulation and savings. So when you have 10,000 point value, for example, you become qualified for unlimited group PV accumulation and savings. Okay, so that's the minimum. So how, what does it take for you to have 10,000 point value? What does it take for you to be able to qualify for unlimited group PV accumulation and savings. It's simple. You just have to purchase. Again, purchase what you have been, really, what the same things that you do purchase and just buy them from this company, okay? So how much do I have to spend in order for me to have 10,000 point value? Ladies and gentlemen, it's not 10,000 pesos, definitely not $10,000. You just have to buy a set of toothbrushes, eight pieces, and two sets of toothpaste that would also give you eight pieces. So like eight pairs of toothbrush and toothpaste, that would give you um, a total price of 890 pesos, okay? So with 890 pesos, you get to have, you get to produce 10,000 PVs. But this is not limited to toothbrushes and toothpastes, okay? There are a lot of other products out there that you can choose from and you can probably combine them in order for you to reach 10,000 PV. But that's just an example, okay? So with 10,000 PV, you get to have unlimited group PV accumulation and savings. What does that mean? So as I was saying a while back, Group PVs are personal PVs of each person under you combined, okay? So let's take a look at this. So this person under this person has 198,000 PV. So do you think this person is qualified for unlimited group PV accumulation and savings? Yes, because this person has more than 10,000 PV. In fact, this person has 198,000 PVs. Now, this person here, 6,900 PVs. Does this person qualify? Not yet because they still lack 3,100 points. Okay, how about this person? Do they qualify? Yes. This person, of course, it's 10,000 and this person, 30,000. When I say unlimited group PV accumulation, whatever is under this person would be accumulated as left group PV. Okay, and whatever is under this person would accumulate as their 
left group PV. Okay, but since this person has um, has not yet reached ten thousand, they cannot yet have such accumulation and savings. So the same is true true with your right group PV. So everything under you, you can accumulate and use as savings because you already have ten thousand point value. Okay, so that's your two types of point values personal point value and group point value left and right and these are your um, this is um, what we call unlimited group PV accumulation and savings so I say unlimited because all the persons under you unlimited you can um, benefit from all their purchases okay so I love this company because it's an equal opportunity company. That means that we all have the opportunity to reach the top. And the top is the monthly limit of $50,000 more or less. In the Philippines, that's around 2.5 million pesos. And that's monthly. Okay. So looking at this picture, you can see that the person at the top is trying to reach the hand of the person still on the ladder. And the other person here, okay, who is close to the bottom is trying to push this person who is ahead of her so that she can easy she can go to the top more easily so that is what we call helping sharing okay we help one another okay that's very important for me that's why i like this company a lot Okay, so other companies' payout system looks like this. Not everyone is happy. Only those at the top are happy because most of the money is made there, but very little is made by those just starting out. So you see they are not happy. They look sad. Okay, however, in Atomy's binary compensation plan, look at the emojis. They are all happy. Why? Because everybody has an income potential of $60 per day to $1,200 Per day in the Philippines, that's around three thousand pesos to sixty thousand pesos per day, depending on foreign exchange, and of course we also have tax because we are righteous. Uh, we are a righteous company. Okay, so everyone is happy because everyone has the same income potential. So it really is an an equal opportunity company. It is really fair to all members. Okay, so let's talk about residual income. Residual income um, talks about residual bills. So we have residual bills. Um, when we're working, we have bills. We have electric bills, we have water bills, we have internet bills, phone bills. You know, we have we need to have money for grocery shopping, we need to buy gas for our vehicles, and these things are things that we need in order to survive. So when we're working, we have them. But even when we're sick, we still have them. When we're on vacation, our bills do not go away. I would always say that these residual bills are just like shadows that keep on following us. But if there is such a thing as a shadow that keeps on following us, why don't we just have residual income, income that would also keep on following us like a shadow? However, in uh, this time, it's income and not bills. So residual income can keep on following us even when we're sleeping, even when we're running, even when we're out of town, even when we're not working anymore. So we can cover these residual bills and we can cover even more. We can enjoy life better with residual income. And this is something that our company promises us if we do the business right. The favorite of all the favorites in Atomy, the favorite feature, the favorite um, benefit that we can have in Atomy is the third generation inheritance. So the third generation inheritance means that you can let your children inherit whatever you are already receiving from the company when something happens to you, and it can go on to your grandchildren. Okay, so if you do not have children, on the other hand, you can assign another person to inherit this from you if something happens to you, right? 
So this is a very good thing for me personally, especially, mm -hmm. because for example, I was introduced a while back to be a registered nurse. I was introduced as an academic doctor, as a trainer, as a research consultant, as a faculty member. All these things I cannot just pass on to my children. All these things I cannot just pass on to my grandchildren. So I cannot just say, okay, child, I'm about to pass. You can have my diploma now and now you're a doctor. I cannot do that. Or if I talk to my grandchildren before I pass and say that, okay, this is my license card. You are now the registered nurse. We cannot do that. But in Atomy, we can have these children and grandchildren inherit whatever we are receiving from the company. So third generation inheritance, the favorite of all favorites of the benefits of our business. Okay, now let's talk about main income sources. Let's talk about money now. Okay, there are different ways to receive income or to, to make money in Atomy, but I'm going to talk about two things today, tonight. First would be general commission and second is mastership bonus. Okay, so general commission constitutes 44% of the total earnings of the company and it has something to do with your rank in the company. So for example, as I told you, your personal PV is for qualification. It qualifies you to be um, a sales representative if you already have 10,000 PV, the minimum, an agent if you already have 300,000 personal point value, a special agent if you are already, uh, if you already produced 700, at least 700,000 point value, a dealer if you already have 1.5 million PV, and an exclusive distributor if you've already reached 2.4 million personal point value. So it depends on what rank you are in, what position you are in. So when you are an agent and you already produced 300 on your left and 300 on your right, 300,000 point value on your left and 300,000 point value of your, on your right, you get to earn $60 calculated daily and paid weekly. Okay, so for every day that you produce 300,000 on your left and 300,000 on your right, when those match, we call it a cycle, okay? That, that will give you a commission of $60 per day. Now, if you're a special agent and you already produce two, uh, 700,000 point values on your left and 700,000 point values on your right, then that gives you $120 daily for every day that you produce such number of point values. So it gets higher and higher with every with, with the different point values that you produce until you reach the limit of $1,200 or 60,000 pesos per day. Okay, that's general commission. Now, let's talk about mastership bonus. Mastership bonus is 20% of the total earnings of the company, okay? So we talked about the different ranks a while back um, from, from a sales representative to exclusive distributor. Now let's talk about the mastership levels from sales master to imperial master. So we have different mastership levels. I'll talk to you more about it later. But these different mastership levels include Sales Master, Diamond Master, Sharon Rose Master, Star Master, Royal Master, Crown Master, and Imperial Master. Okay? So for Sales Master, I told you a while back that the, the, the system of Atomy shows people who are smiling, right? Regardless if you came in earlier or you came in later, if you're just starting or you've been there for a while. But really, even those at the bottom, they are given so much importance, okay? The first mastership level, the lowest mastership level, so to speak, is the sales mastership level. But look at the share of mastership. 
from 20%, you can see that the sales masters receive 10% or 50% of the 20% mastership bonus. So the rest of the 10% is just divided among the different mastership levels. That shows us now that the sales masters are given so much importance over the rest. Although everyone is important, it only shows how much motivation the company is giving sales masters so they can continue to, 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 to pursue the business, so they can continue to be persistent and to be committed in doing the business. So that's 10% for sales master and 5%, 2.30% from diamond master to imperial master. So there, there you go, we have mastership bonuses. But I told you we'll talk about this more. What does it take for one to be a master? Okay, so first let's see how we become sales master. How did I become a sales master? So first, I had to produce personal PV of 700,000. Okay, so that qualifies me now as a special agent. And for a special agent to be a sales master, they should be able to produce 2.5 million point values on the left and 2.5 million point, val point values on the right within a challenge period, which is 15 days. Okay, within a 15-day challenge period, you should be able to produce 2.5 million point values on the left and 2.5 point values on the right. So how does this happen? How do we produce this much point value? Of course, it is through your um, creativity and leadership that you can campaign among your, your members, among your, your partners, uh, that they purchase products. It shows by your example, as you are al also using the products, that these members can also buy these products. So if you are able to produce this within the 15 day challenge period, then you can qualify to be a sales master. Okay, so we already talked about sales mastership bonus, that's 10% of the total income of the company. But other than that, you can be given, well, you will be given a set of the fame right here, a set of evening care, and one box of Himo Him. So these are mastership gifts. All right. Now, what's next after sales master? You can become a diamond master. Okay, just like diamond master Dr. Sess and diamond master Grace. Right. So in order for you to become a diamond master, you should have a personal point value of 1.5 million. And don't worry about this. It goes by time because you keep on using products, then you keep on buying them. So when you keep on buying them, it goes naturally that you will earn or you will produce this number of PVs. Okay, the same is true with the rest of your members. They keep on buying and they keep on producing point values, right? But this time, we do not count point values when you want to be a diamond master. You now help two persons on your left and two persons on your right to become just like you. That's the power of duplication. So I was once a sales master. Now I want others to become successful like me. So I will help them become sales masters too. So two of them on your left and two of them on your right. At least two. Okay, we're not saying that you only have to help two. If you want to help more, go ahead because this is a company of sharing, of helping, right? Helping one another. Now, when you become Diamond Master, aside from your mastership bonus, you get to be given cash budget for your laptop and the same products that a sales master receives, okay? Then what's next? We have Sharon Rose Master, just like Sharon Rose Master Gerard. Okay, so you only have to have a personal point value of 2.5, 2.4 million. All right, and then help two on your left and two on your right to become Diamond Masters, just like you were before. When you become Sharon Rose Master, you get to receive promotion trip for three nights and four days for two, and cash of two thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. So here comes the excitement for me because I love traveling. All right. 
Now, for you to become a star master, you just have to maintain your personal point value of 2.4 million. Okay, help two on your left and two on your right to become Sharon Rose Masters. And then you will be given promotion trip for three nights and four days, this time for four persons and 10,000 peso, that, sorry, $10,000 worth of cash. Now, in order for you to become a, a royal master, you just have to maintain your personal point value of 2.4 million. That means you don't have to add anymore except for buying at least one product every year to maintain your membership. Okay? So you don't really add, have to add some more. Just maintain it that way. And help two on your left and two on your right to become star masters. And you will get a promotion trip for 10 nights and 11 days for four. Cash of $50,000 a rental car, and $2,000 worth of sponsorship, uh, $2,000 worth of credit for sponsorship activity. Wow. Now you can have your budget for some sponsorship. You can help some more people. Now, second to the last, Crown Master. Okay? So a Crown Master just maintains a personal point value of $2.4 helps two on the left and two on the right to become Royal Masters. And they get to receive promotion trip for 10 nights and 11 days for four persons, a car of their own, 5000 worth of credit for sponsorship activity to be paid by Atomy, and cash of $300,000. In the Philippines, friends, that's 15 million pesos. Just for you to become a royal master, you just have to help two on your left and two on your right to become royal masters and you receive all this. And of course, our end game, imperial master, you just have to maintain 2.4 million personal point value, help two on your left and two on your right to become crown masters. And you will get promotion trip for 10 nights and 11 days for a good trip, okay, for four. A luxury car with your own driver, your own office with your own assistant, $10,000 worth of credit. Well, I forgot to mention monthly for monthly sponsorship activities to be paid for by Atomy. And finally, $1 million. $1 million, friends. That's around 50 million pesos. Wow. These gifts, they're amazing. It shows how generous our company is. And, well, is this really true? It, or is it too good to be true? It appears to be too good to be true, but friends, it's real. These are pictures of Imperial Master promotion ceremonies. And indeed, we already have Imperial Masters. And hopefully, well, I am positive that one of us or more of us will become Imperial Masters in the near future. So let's just keep on making, on doing the business right, and we will reach the top. Okay, so how do we reach the top? We have an Atomy success system. It has already been prescribed by our leaders, and we don't have to do anything else. Well, we just have to attend meetings. That's what it says. Center meetings, online seminars, global seminars, one-day seminars, and success academies. We just have to be present here. And what is behind all of these? Seriously, I just have to turn on my laptop and attend a virtual meeting, and I'm going to be successful? Of course not. What is in a center meeting like what we have now? What is in a success academy? What is in these different seminars? Friends, we get to learn. And I'm going back to what I said earlier about humility. Humility is also admitting that we have to learn, that we do not know everything, that we still have room for improvement. No matter how far we have gone in life, no matter how many degrees we have, no matter how many networking companies we've been to, no matter how many people we have under us, no matter how much we are earning, no matter what, we have to be humble. We still have to learn. And I salute 
each of you who is in this room right now, I commend you for being here because it shows how humble you are. It shows how willing you are to learn, to be mentored, to be educated, and to be inspired by being in this meeting. Okay? So that's our Atomy Success System. And what do we do? We ride the bus. Okay? We ride the bus with humility. We buy, we use, and we share. We buy the products that we need. Okay? We buy it anyway, but buy it from this company. We use them, enjoy using them, and of course, we have to share what we are experiencing with other people so we can get them to join us in this bus as well. So we're not saying buy, use, and sell, ladies and gentlemen. What we're saying is buy, use, and share. So let us ride the bus together. Let us be humble with each other in this ride and remember that we have to serve one another in humility, okay? Because we want to become successful. We want to reach the top. And in order for us, for everyone in our team to reach the top, we have to serve one another, right? We want to serve one another in order for us to become successful. But what is the key really? It says here, the day you become humble is the day you become successful. So let us clothe ourselves with humility and let us be humble servants, humble leaders, not those who are arrogant, not the type who has so much pride and definitely not one with false humility who keeps on saying that I am humble, I am serving in humility. This is how humility looks like. That's false humility. We want to be real humble people because the day we become humble is the day we become successful and with that friends i would like to invite everyone to do the company motto to be led by sir roger sir roger yes pa. yes ma'am okay once again my pillow atomians our company motto are you ready yes yes, yes. go Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Back to you, Doc Apple. Thank you very much, Sir Roger. I give you back now to our.